So I started editing this video and realised that I had hardly spoken to the camera at all uh, during the whole video, mostly because I was doing quite a lot of different things and I was also spending time with my family, so I was just kind of a bit more in the moment. So I thought that to give it a little bit of context I would sit down and tell you guys exactly what is going on and what we get, got up to on this lovely week. I started this video on a Tuesday as Harvey and I had been away over the weekend on my eco psychology course down near Bristol and Tuesday started off a little bit slow. We decided to head to the garden centre in the morning via Harvey's work where he wanted to pick up some tools because he wanted to do some DIY projects and we popped into the nice cafe that is there, then headed over to the garden centre at Ambleside, had a little look around the pots and plants. I was actually looking for a strawberry pot but I didn't find one in the end um, and then did a little bit of work that afternoon and went for a lovely walk. Good morning everyone, it is actually Wednesday today and I started this video on a Tuesday again because I was on my eco psychology course at the weekend down in Bristol and Monday was kind of driving home and we had to pop into our old house to pick up a few parcels that we accidentally got delivered there and we also picked up our bikes which is really exciting so we can now cycle here which will be amazing um so yeah yesterday was um well a bit of a slow start we went to the garden center and then i edited a video in the afternoon got that all done which was great um harvey upcycled our kitchen table all afternoon which i'll show you because it looks so good um and today um i am this morning i'm packing up parcels i have 16 books to pack and 18 other parcels so it will take a little while. I think Harvey's going to help as well because he is on the final week of building the shepherd's hut that he's building but they are waiting for some materials to arrive so he's just kind of waiting for the phone call telling him that he can go into work. In the meantime he's at home and I'm like <laughs> recruiting him to help me do some bits and bobs which is really handy because yeah there are definitely times when I'm like I really need your help. Um, so yeah, today is one of those days. Um, my sister and her partner are actually heading up to, well, they're staying in an Airbnb in Kendall for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm really excited to see them. They're actually going to drive over here and um, park here this afternoon. And we're going to maybe go for a walk up into the Howgills. Um, I really want to take them to like the local cafe and maybe show them around some of the shops in town and everything. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to be hanging out with them for the next three days. So I kind of really wanted to get like the essential things that I needed to get done for work uh, yesterday and today, which I've kind of done, but I'll probably end up having, well, I'll definitely end up having to do some bits of work in between, but that's totally fine. Because um, when I'm with them, I am also kind of researching for my Lake District guide because they just they kind of want to go on like some nice walks and go to some nice cafes and pubs so I'll just take them to places that I really want to check out for my book so it's not too bad really um 
but yeah um i'm gonna take you guys along on another little mini week vlog um because i got so many lovely comments when i did the last one which was amazing so yeah it's definitely inspired me to want to do more um like i say i really enjoyed filming it and it's quite nice to have that like variety in a video of kind of hiking outdoorsy things and then working so yeah i'm glad that you all really liked it and back for another <laughs> Very lucky person's got a little parcel. A little parcel wrapped with love. <laughs> <laughs> I move into the next part of this video I just quickly wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. Skillshare are very kindly sponsoring six of my videos this year so you might have heard me talk about them before but if you don't know Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes to choose from. I've been enjoying delving into a whole range of classes from photography to videography, admin, finance, marketing but one particular class that I discovered this week and really enjoyed was Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally with Nathaniel Drew who is an online content creator. I for one can get quite overwhelmed with all the many forms of social media and the abundance of content that is out there for us to consume. So I found this course to be really helpful in what I document, capture and create. It's only one hour 20 long so I actually watched it over one long lunch break and felt really inspired to go out and document in a more intentional way after that. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can explore your own creativity. Now on with the video. After after a morning of work, my sister and her boyfriend Tom came over to our house and we decided to wander into town, had a little look around the shops and then we headed out hiking into the Howgill Fells. After that we went to the pub in town which has just recently reopened and it has an amazing beer garden and delicious food so it was a real treat.
Good morning everyone, it is Thursday today and I've got a really exciting day planned. I'm heading out into the lakes to go for a walk with my sister and her boyfriend Tom who you saw yesterday. Um, we had a really lovely day yesterday actually. We went up on a walk up Winder, the local hill and then headed back into town and went to the pub which was amazing. The food was so good. I can't wait to go back again and basically try the whole menu. So that's yeah really that was really really lovely evening with um, Anna, Tom and Harvey and yeah we're heading into the lakes today. Um, I think we're gonna go, first of all we're gonna go for breakfast at one of my favourite cafes, Home Ground in Windermere and oh gosh this camera is so heavy. Um, my other camera is out of battery so I'm using the big camera to film this. Uh, <laughs> and then I think we're gonna head into Ambleside and head up Loughrig Fell. Um, which is a fell that I've been up before with my friend Molly and it's fairly easy and really beautiful views so I think that will be nice and Anna is also quite keen to kind of look around some shops and do like more touristy things that I don't normally do so that will be really nice because whenever I go to Ambleside I always think there's some really nice shops there so I thought that might be a good place to have a little wonder um, yeah, <laughs> so that is the plan but before we go and because I feel like quite guilty about the fact that I'm not really doing much work this week and I do have quite a lot to do. I'm going to very quickly open up these packages behind me that arrived for our store and get some new stock online. <laughs> um, I think one of the obviously like the major advantage of working for yourself is that you do get to pick and choose when you want to like just take a few days off work which is so nice but it also means that it's quite easy to not work sometimes and I have a lot to do but obviously like I really want to make the most of my sister being here so um, yeah I'm kind of like I worked um, all evening yesterday when we got back from the pub and I was up early as well editing a video um, so yeah I'm going to quickly do this get the new stock online and then head over to Windermere and go get a yummy sandwich I think. <laughs> A restock of some of these beautiful books. So we've got Tristan Gooley's The Natural Navigator. This is an amazing book, definitely inspiring for men and women alike, but particularly women, I think, because Gwen Moffat is an amazing character. We've got Nan Shepherd's The Living Mountain, and we also have the hardback edition. And this beautiful book, which I'm really looking forward to reading, Robert McFarlane, The Old Ways. I got recommended this book by quite a few people, so I thought we could stock it and then I will read it. Plus we got a few lovely new little soaps. So we've got the Weatherlum from Little Northern Soap House. We also have a few of the Buttermeers in, which are like a lemon one. They smell so good. <laughs> and we have the Rambler soaps back. I love these.
Friday morning, my sister, who is a photographer, really wanted to head to Bleetan because I think she'd seen some photos of it online and it is incredibly beautiful. So originally we thought we might head there for sunrise, but sunrise is so early and after like quite a big day hiking the day before, we decided to head in the early morning. So I think it was about 7.38 when we got there and it was honestly just incredible. It was completely mirror reflection and the bird song was amazing. It was just such a beautiful place to spend the morning. We just kind of wandered along the banks and through the woods and then headed over to one of my favourite cafes, Chester's by the River, for coffee and pastries that morning. enjoyed watching this week vlog and coming along on some little Lake District adventures with me. It's been the most beautiful week and we're supposed to have amazing weather this weekend as well so I'm definitely going to be making the most of the sunshine. Um, I'm just going to head outside and do some work on our new sofa lounge area in the garden and thought I'd show you guys because in the last video I mentioned that Harvey was going to make us like a little lounge area in the garden with some old pallets he got from work and it's kind of done. I think he wants to do a few more things but I wanted to show you because it's so comfy and cosy and he literally did it in like like very very quickly. I don't know. I, I think 
he did one part of it in like 15 minutes <laughs> um but yeah it's not painted or anything because it's all covered up but yeah it's super cozy so i'm going to show you that now so here are all our pots and this is the lounge area that harvey made we've also got a fire pit here and we've got like a little coffee table here as well with lots more pots on it. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cosy. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you have all been enjoying the lovely sunshine as well, wherever you are. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>